Hello stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from a beautiful sunny Menasha, Wisconsin. Welcome to the Stampers Dozen Blog Hop. We are featuring new catalog inspiration today and I love a new catalog. I'm sure you do too. I am featuring the Bottled Happiness Bundle. This is a beautiful little stamp set and a matching punch. We are going to be making a very quick and simple card today. And I'll tell you all about it when we flip the camera around, but please know that at the end of the video is going to be a link that'll take you right to my blog where you can scroll down until you see a link, or I, I'm sorry, a list of all the other people in this blog hop. They're all gonna be sharing new catalog inspiration. I can't hardly wait to see what everybody has made because of course we need new ideas with our new catalog products. Let's flip this camera around and we'll get started. First thing I'm gonna do here is show you the products that I'm using. Of course, I've got the Bottled Happiness. This stamp set has 13 different stamps, stamps in it and it is photopolymer. That is our clear rubber, which is my favorite. Then we have the Vintage Bottle Punch. You can order these together as a bundle and save 10%. So the punch matches up with this particular bottle right here. It also matches up with the Vintage Bottle Shaker Domes. Now these little things are so cute. Look at how neat these are. So you can make shakers and punch out where they go on your cardstock layer. It's a self-adhesive little strip that you pull off of there so that these will stick. And they are, oh, I'd say maybe a little bit less than a quarter inch thick. So it might add some extra postage to your card, but hey, if it's gonna be this cute, it's worth it, right? <laughs> so these are really, really fun. And I'm not going to be using them for the project that I'm making for you today, but I will be using them in the future. So you definitely want to make sure you head over to my blog and you subscribe to it so you don't miss anything I have coming out. Also, right here on the YouTube video, down here in the bottom corner is a link to subscribe so that when I have new videos, you'll make sure you don't miss them. All right, next up. We're gonna be using my favorite new embellishments, the Rhinestone Basic Jewels. I just love these. I think they add a little bit of sparkle to everything. Some linen thread. Also, the All That Dyes. These, um, this is 10 different label dyes that come in here. We're going to be using this particular one. There's some great label dyes in here. I, I've used this a lot, as a matter of fact. So I'll just set that right there. And then I'm going to bring in all of my layers. So I wanted to make you guys an entire rainbow of colors in this particular card that I'm gonna share with you. But guess what? Life. It's Saturday, my daughter wants to bring the babies over and she wants to do something with me today. And I thought, gosh, if I make a bunch of cards in various colors for this blog hop, which has a schedule, right? I need, a, I have a timeline. I won't have time to do that with the babies and her. And I, I voted for family today. So I'm gonna show you a card. You are going to know exactly what to do with my idea. I'm sure of it. We are using Petal Pink. So I chose Pumpkin Pie and Petal Pink as my two colors. This is four and a quarter by 11. So I am going to burnish that edge. By the way, this is our new in color grid paper. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, somebody asked me earlier today if it has measurements on it. It does have a ruler right up here. It just doesn't have all the numbers on it. But I mean, you, we know this is one, two, three, four, whatever. But I really like this grid paper and it comes in a variety of our in color colors. Look at how pretty this is. And I think it's always fun just to have a pretty desktop to work with. So I'm really enjoying this paper. Okay, back to our card. Whoo, squirrel. <laughs> we have a, an envelope we're gonna decorate up. 
And then we have a basic white layer. This is four by five and a quarter. This is gonna go on the inside of our card. We have a pumpkin pie layer, and that is three and a quarter by five and a half with a basic white layer at three by five and a half. Now, a little tip for you. I die cut this label from the All That Labels. I die cut this label from a basic white scrap and then I took my layer that I'm gonna put on the front of my card and I die cut another one out of pumpkin pie. So it's just a little kind of cardstock saving there for you. You use a little bit less cardstock. We are ready to stamp. So let's grab our pumpkin pie and we are going to stamp right on this cute little label. One of the things I love about these dies is that it puts an embossed edge around your label. And I just think that's very cool looking. Something that I'm, I'm, I've really been enjoying. Just gives a little bit extra. So there's our label. Then we're going to take this white layer and we're going to grab, there's two different floral stamps in here. One is the little elements with leaves. The other one is the more bold with the more flowers. So I'm going to grab my Petal Pink ink and I'm going to stamp the bolder flowers and we're going to stamp these pretty close to the top of this layer and we're going to turn it around and we're going to stamp them again right like that. Now we're going to grab our pumpkin pie. This is our accent color. And this fits right in here. So I'm gonna stand up so I can see what I'm doing here. And you see this little, these, the insides of these flowers, let me move this up a little bit, the insides of these flowers meet up perfectly with these flowers. Oops, let's make sure I don't get ink on my envelope. So I'm gonna stand up so I can see what I'm doing here. I think I got it. Ah, perfect. Oh my gosh. And I love the two tone with the petal pink and the pumpkin pie. So we're going to do that again here. Let's cross our fingers. See if I can do it again. It's hard not to get my head in the camera. I'm trying to stay out of the camera, but I need to be over top of my elements. Ah, I did it. Yay. You can also set this up in your Stamparatus and get it perfectly lined up. That would be an awesome way to stamp these flowers. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this pumpkin pie layer and I am going to cut it in half and we're going to use it to outline our sentiment. This would be kind of a little plain for me. So I want to give it just a little bit of a color border. I'm going to turn my iPad off there. I didn't know that was on and make a noise. Oops. So like I said, what I wanted to do here today was to give you guys a whole rainbow in this. Like these are the oranges and then purples and maybe yellows and blues and reds so that I could give you some more ideas. But I'm like, you guys, you are always telling me family first, family first, and I firmly believe that. So I made a choice and I'm gonna do some family things today. Yay. All right, next thing I wanna do, I am going to use my Seal Plus and I'm just going to put some seal on here. And I ran over just a little bit there, so I'm gonna tuck that in. I've got linen thread. I, I measured this. It's 25 inches of linen thread. So I'm just going to take this and I'm going to wrap it around my fingers just like that. And then usually what I do is I kind of do this little thing and I'm going to bring it in here and now I'm going to arrange it. I twisted it like a figure eight. Now I'm going to arrange it just a little bit, not too much. I don't want it to look, there we go, uniform but I do want it to show up and give me kind of a neat little pattern here. And that Seal Plus 
helps it stick. Look how cute that is. And it's very random. I'm going to move this one a little bit. That one's bugging me. There we go. <laughs> so now we're going to put some dimensionals on here. That's just a really easy way to add an element to your label. And since this is a very quick and simple card, I felt like it needed a little something something right there. Got my take your pick tool. This is my favorite tool. I It's like my... It's like another hand for me. I use it to take the dimensionals off. I use it to pick up my embellishments. I use it for mini glue dots. I use it for everything. Well, not everything, but you know what I mean. Here we go. We're gonna pop this right in the middle. I'm just gonna center it on here. And now we're ready for a little assembly of our card. I'm gonna put my glue on here so that I don't get glue all over on my on my my grid paper here and we'll just put this right in the middle and again that pumpkin pie layer was three and a quarter wide and our white layer is one I'm sorry three inches wide our white layer is three inches okay so that looks pretty good and then we're going to put this right on our card front now we can go over that hole isn't that cool? Nobody knows that's there. Nobody. We're, mum's the word. We're, we got our lips sealed on that one. <laughs> We're going to do a little bit of stamping on the inside layer and also to our envelope. So let's see if I can do it again <laughs> and get this lined up nice. This is going to be the inside layer for our card. And I just thought it would look nice if we took the flowers and put them on the front of our envelope. So we did that. Let's get this one in there. All right, let's see if Kelly can do it. Mm, here we go. Oops, this picked out again. There it is. It's like, okay, now I feel it can lined up. Yay! And that one wasn't lined up as good, but you can see that it doesn't, it's like not a glaring problem, right? I didn't get that one lined up as good because I don't have my head sticking in here as far. Here we go. On our inside layer, that one is almost perfect, so that's great. And we're going to put this inside. So before my daughter Haley called, I was actually picking out, I started picking out color combinations to be able to show you a whole bunch of different ideas. So I'll, I'll show you what I came up with. It's not a lot, but you'll know what to do with it because I know you guys are so very creative, able to take it and run with it. Uh, we'll do one right there and then we have a lot of these so why not use them these are so pretty don't you love those little iridescent rhinestones I'll take a medium size one. Oh, I see a little fuzz on it hang on I don't like that hope I got it off there we go <gasps> how pretty is that my gosh this is going to be a fantastic bundle to work with I didn't even use any of the jugs or the punch and I've already got this beautiful beautiful card now, the other color combination that I just pulled out before Haley called was our new Orchid Oasis with Highland Heather. And I think, let me just grab a scrap and we'll see what that looks like. And then I'll trust you guys to be able to figure out some other fun color combinations. So I'm gonna do the light one first and that's gonna be our big florals. Oh, so pretty. And then I've got the Orchid Oasis with the smaller little elements. And let's see if I can do it again. Where's my flower? There it is. I was way off. Okay, here we go. Oh, I think I did it. <gasps> Look at how pretty that is, you guys. Oh my gosh, what other colors can I see here? We have, ooh, flirty flamingo and polished pink. Those two would go good together. Ah, lots and lots of color combinations available. How about, how about Pacific Point 
and oh, pool party or Tahitian Tide. That's really pretty. So you can see sky's the limit for the color combinations and you can make an entire rainbow of cards. And again, so quick and easy on this particular design. So thank you guys so much for understanding that I didn't have a rainbow ready for you, but that I wanted to provide a really cute card. Oh, look, I just got ink all over that. Don't worry. I have a sand eraser and this is part of my sticky kit and it gets those smudges off when you think you have completely ruined your beautiful card at, you know after you're all done with it boom all done sticky kits are available on my blog you will find them in my online classes also when you scroll down the screen you'll see sticky kit they're really cool it's got all kinds of adhesives in them it also comes with a sand eraser and a gum eraser and before i let you go i am right in the middle of catalog kickoff uh me and my two demonstrator friends barb and dina we are providing so much fun seven different live classes there's make and take a packets available that have over $30 in product in them. If you haven't taken a look at our catalog kickoff, it started on May 3rd and it ends on the 21st. Lots and lots of great content. It is on Facebook. It's a lot of fun. You can find that in my online classes on my blog. If you're planning on placing an order with me, I always appreciate your orders. This is my current host code to use if your order is under $150. And if you need a new catalog, oh my goodness, please do not hesitate to contact me. You'll find me, you'll find my email address. It's kelly at a stamp Um, I'd be happy to mail you a new catalog if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I could be your person. I would love that. I know you would too. Thank you guys so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day to spend with me. Please don't forget to click up here to head over to my blog and look for a um, link list for other people in the blog hop. We're all featuring a new catalog inspiration. Click down here to subscribe to my blog and also give me a thumbs up. That's always helpful and I so appreciate it. Have yourselves a fantastic weekend. Bye-bye.